Handoff goes to McCree, hurtling tacklers and taken down at the 44-yard line. A pickup of about five on the play to make it second and five. And it appears, Skip, that both teams are going to try and mix it up as much yes. as possible, run and pass. We'll take another look at the play with McCree. Well, you can see now, after the first down, they're right-handed, meaning they like to run right. And here's McCree. The ball goes on the ground a little bit. He's going to get hit a little bit today, so he's got to protect that football a little bit better. Make it second and six from the 42 for Hillsdale. Wayne stayed out in front, 6-0 here early in the first quarter. Hand off to the fullback for a pickup of about two. I believe that was Jamie Murphy on the carry as they tried to go with a quick hitter. And that'll bring up third and about three. And there are uh, some Hillsdale coaches that are yes. making a homecoming of sorts. Dick Lowry, the head coach. Dave Dye and Steve Brocklebank. Dick Lowry, by the way, the winningest coach, coach in Tartar yes, history. Exactly. Here's a key Very nice third man. down play. Hillsdale facing third and three from their own side of the field and movement at the line. The toss to McArdle. He is held short of the first down, but we'll have to wait and see. Did Hillsdale draw Wayne State offside? It looked like that time, Pete, that Younger used a little bit of a, a different cadence and drew the defense off that time because it seemed like a couple of Wayne State guys jumped. And that's what it is. It is offside against Wayne State. And so the Chargers get the first down via penalty, and there it is. That good head bob and that hard yeah. cadence drew the center of the Wayne State line offside. Our officials this afternoon, Thomas Rippenhoff, he's got a cast yes. on that left <laughs> hand. <laughs> Don't know if he got, uh, if that was in game action or, or what happened there, but officials have to play hurt too. <laughs> So first and 10 for Hillsdale. They trail at 6 nothing just on their side of the field, and flags fly once again before the inception of that first down play. It looks like um, there's illegal procedure. It looks like the, they didn't get down, and it was set for a count, and sure enough, it is. That play went off a little too quick. It is a false start against Hillsdale to make it first and 15. And this is the mistakes that both teams have been having through the course of certain drives, Pete. And right now it's important for Hillsdale to get back, control the game. Yes, they gave up a touchdown, but there's a lot of football left. Well, Wayne State is a good four, first quarter team. Yes, skip. they are. They outscore the opposition 61-31 in the first quarter. First and 15. Younger on a roll. He gets whacked as he throws it. He throws it deep and incomplete. He was under heavy pressure that time, and the nearest player to the ball was Steve Lestage as he got back there on the coverage. And Mr. Younger took a shot here that was unbelievable. He's going to feel that tomorrow morning. He's not going to want to use that rolling pocket if he's going to get hit like that. So that brings up second and 15. Younger had a strong week last weekend, passing for 276 yards. Straight drop this time, and a swing pass into the flat. It's McArdle down the sideline. Breaks one tackle, can't break that one, and is finally dropped at the 23-yard line. So much as Wayne State got the big play, that time it was Anthony McCree, rather, and he goes for 32 yards. Yeah, this is a well-designed play right now. McCree's got some speed, as you can see, folks. He's going to swing out of the backfield. They're going to go a little left, come right back to him. He's man-on-man -man right now here. The defender falls down, and this guy can show you a little shake and bake here. And he carries it to a Hillsdale first down at the 23-yard line. So the Chargers in scoring position now. Looks like we're going to have some fireworks here today, Pete. There will be a lot of points put up on the board. I have no doubt about that. Rolsch, the move man, and throwing deep to the end zone, caught, and a touchdown. It's Aaron Peterson for Hillsdale. Younger to Peterson for the touchdown from 23 yards away, and we're tied at six. Well, what they do this time is they get, they get the tight end on the linebacker, and anytime you can get that matchup, you're going to come out. Nice ball, nice touch. Younger goes back, sees it. You see comes off the top of the screen, folks. He knows he's got man right now. Lofts it up, wants to make sure... He doesn't overthrow the pass. 
Six points. And a quick developing play. Mike Doherty, the junior place kicker, on to attempt the point, which will put the Chargers up in front. A high snap, but it is through and good. And with 10 minutes, 49 seconds to play in the first quarter, Wayne State trails now. Hillsdale up 7-6. We'll take a break and be right back. Give me a draft. Cold filtered beers are smooth, but they're nothing new. Uh, how about an ice? Ice beers start cold, but most are heat pasteurized, not cool. Bud ice. That's why Bud ice is ice brewed and cold filtered to start cold and stay cold. Get real cold with icy smooth Bud ice and new 96 calorie Bud ice light. What more could you want? You know how good 100% all-natural turkey tastes? Maybe not. Because most places serve processed turkey. Not Big Boy. The turkey dinner at Big Boy is real, all-white meat, slow oven roasted to seal in the natural juices, just like you do at home. And you get real mashed potatoes and your choice of salad and a fresh-baked roll for just $4.99. Dinner is better at Big Boy, because Big Boy starts with better stuff. I'm talking turkey. Back with the kickoff, Hillsdale, Mike Doherty will kick it off to Dustin Cunningham, number 23, and Nate Bush, number 14. Good kick this time, coming to Cunningham at the two. Cunningham straight ahead, bit of a crease, but can't break from the last tackler and is knocked down at the 32-yard line. A 30-yard return and good execution on the wedge skip. Excellent, but you know, the point I want to make here, Pete, is this about the sixth kickoff that we've seen, and Nate Bush, they kick away from this young man. At one time, he's one of the leaders in kick returns in the nation. They just don't want him to get a chance. Well, Cunningham stepping up. He says, well, if I'm going to run it, I'll take care of business. Take a look at the scoring summary. 80 yards, eight plays, just over three minutes. Attacking that pass defense again, Pete. Spin in the give. Here's Goff, and on the cutback, he is leveled. It's John Loria, number 54, the senior defensive tackle, in to make the stop for uh, a loss of one, make it second down 11. Well, you're going to see a lot of defenders up, as they call in that box area, from defensive end to defensive end with tackles. At any time, you'll see at least eight, maybe sometimes more, and play man on the outside. Zayakowski, the receiver to the near side. Bush is in the slot. And the pass to Bush. He's run out of bounds at the 37-yard line. And he picks up five on the play. That'll make here third down and six as Bush picks up his first grab of the afternoon. Pretty good play. They're going to throw to Bush coming out of the slot. He's got man on him, and it's very difficult. Good release, good catch, good pattern. It was run. Very hard. The only thing maybe Mr. Bush would like to do is come back to the football a little bit. Secure the football, folks. That sets up third and four from the 38. Neither team has had to punt here. And a draw play to Goff, and that fooled absolutely nobody. Least of all, Corey Knight, the junior linebacker. Corey Knight knifing in to make the stop, and with that ace backfield, exactly. you know if you're going to run, it's going to go to Goff, and it fooled nobody. Exactly. You got the guard coming over with a little bit of a trap on the sprint draw. Uh, he's spying Mr. Goff today. That's his job. Stop him. Dropping back to receive the punt is number three, Scott Elwer. It's Eric Burton with the punt, and it was partially blocked, and the Tartars are going to let this one roll, and it rolls dead at the 33-yard line. A 31-yard punt for Burton, who has been averaging just under 40 yards per kick, and it's first and 10 Hillsdale. And Stanley Edwards is our sideline reporter. Stanley, what do you have for us? This is very interesting. Other than this past series, it's been pretty much of a track meet. Uh, Wayne State said, listen, if those guys going to put so many guys up to stop Joe Goff, we have to go in there. So we did a lot of play action passes, sprint out, as you mentioned, Skip. And they're going to come over down the field. If they're going to put uh, eight men up to try to stop Joe Goff, they're going to put the ball in the air. However, on the other side of the ball, Wayne State Chargers defense have to be a little bit more concerned because the Chargers have a more of a balanced passing and running attack. So this should be a track meet, gentlemen. I'm excited about the rest of this game. Back upstairs to you guys. 
Thanks, Stan. Anthony McCree slipped and was covered after a gain of about a yard to bring up second and nine from the 35. You know, we watched McCree a little bit last year, Pete. You know, he took over for Schulte, who was the all-time leading rusher in this league, uh, back with a lot of promise, very quick. Younger on a roll. The out pattern is caught by Walsh. That's his first grab of the afternoon. And he is shoved out of bounds just shy of midfield. And it should be good for a first down. And we have an injured Tartar down on the play. It's a pickup of 12 that time from Younger to Walsh, the combination we talked about at the top of the show. We're not quite sure as to the identity of the Wayne State player shake it up and so we don't want to speculate till we can be sure it is number four Todd Burgess he's a freshman cornerback from Detroit Cody High School and he is shaken on the far side hopefully it's just the wind landed maybe eight minutes 43 seconds to play here in the first Hillsdale out in front seven to six both teams scoring on their initial drives. Well, you got to remember also, too, we're looking at a passing offense that has the win to their back. You're going to have to utilize the win when you have it. And here's the coaching staff. Mr. Van Gorder is a little uh, concerned right now, as he should be. They're doing a good job of sealing on the corners and what I mean by that looks like a shoulder huh Pete it looks like it might be a dislocation or obviously an injury to the shoulder but getting back once again to doing a good job of getting the quarterback out so he has no defenders in front of him he has a clear field to throw the football and when younger has a clear field he's going to be effective it's like playing catch he's a strong quarterback Alan Burks a sophomore will come into the ball game to take the place of Todd Burgess. And it does not look like Todd is going to be back any time in the near future, and that's unfortunate for that young man, but he's got a lot of football yet to be played here for the Tartars. First down, 10 for Hillsdale. 8.43 to play in the first. They go from the I set. Younger with the long count. Fakes one handoff, yes. now gives to McCree around the right side, and he had running room for a moment, and then he got decked. And you see there that Todd Burgess is going to go to the locker room. Jim Filippiak in on the stop for the Tartars, a pickup of five for McCree. That'll bring up second and five. Boy, ever since Washington Redskins made a living off that counter, everybody's gone and put that in their playbook, Pete. Well, if it works, copy it. Younger to the fullback. This is McCardle, and McCardle picks up one as he tried to go off of left tackle, but the hole was pretty well bottled up. Rob Murray, who's coming back from a twisted ankle, makes the stop on that play. What they're trying to do, you see they're pulling the guard coming around, but the, the, the effectiveness, I can't see who on the defensive line of Wayne State caused the problem there. The center has to get over, get his head and his backside over and try to secure that. He didn't do that, that play. Looked like Gary Rutan messed Rutan. that up a little bit. Third and four for Hillsdale. Wayne State showing blitz, and they've got the tailback, McCree, trapped in the backfield for a loss, and no flags fly, so the play stands, and the Tartar defense has held here in the first quarter. Right now, they get the count. The center snaps the football, and nobody else is moving, so we don't know if they couldn't hear him, Younger, being the quarterback, or that the center snapped the ball early. Tom Dessau will do the punting for the Chargers, and he gets off a beauty, and Bush is going to back away from this one, and it is down at the 11-yard line by Hillsdale. So once again, Bush did not have a chance to return it. Corey Knight downs it. That's a 42-yard punt. Seven minutes, 16 seconds to play in the first. Hillsdale leading Wayne State. 7-6. We'll be back with more football action.
Hello? Mrs. Martin. It's Dr. Murphy. Hi, Doctor. How's the big guy doing? So much 